Greetings! Welcome here to Charles Boulevard. Today we are in our studio in the recording room and uh, it's me, Pavel. Bernie is not here in front of the camera because he's holding the camera. Hello, Bernie! Hi, everybody! So, today we are going to talk about uh, the recording of drums. How we are recording drums. I told you the last time we are trying to do it very old-fashioned way. So I'm basically recording um, through microphones uh, in our room. Let's look uh, at the drum set as uh, as all. Ah, oh, got a chair here. Our studio is not really big, so um, we can work with that pretty easily. And I have each microphone for each one microphone for each drum. So uh, let's start with the kick drum. Uh, try to try to look at it. Uh, this kick drum, Bernie is using a 24 inch uh, uh, white uh, drum. That's one of the biggest. It's very loud and uh, there's no hole on the, on the on the front head. So um, it's um, uh, it's fun uh, to find the right place, uh, the right placement for, for the microphone. We were using Audix D4, uh, but um, uh, this, uh, uh, we, we, when we put the mic in, in, uh, in the middle, uh, the head is rever reverberating too much, so we are trying to get, get the right position. Um, I know that uh, almost everyone would tell you that it's much easier to uh, have the hole in the head and put the microphone in it because you get more punch. But uh, we said uh, we would like to do it this old way. Like, remember those old Ludwig drum sets like uh, that yeah. Bonham used or um, e even uh, Beatles or uh, whoever uh, in, in the 60s. Um, they didn't have a hole in, in, in the front hat, for sure. And uh, when you're listening to Bonham's drumming, uh, I don't think he's not definitely not one of those who would lose punch, you know. And Bernie is very heavy on his um, kick, so um, I, I, I wasn't scared about it. And it sounded terrific. Let's go to, to another one, uh, Snare is the only one that we use two microphones for it. So we take it from the, the top head and we mic the bottom of, uh, of the snare. Uh, on the top head you hear more of the, of the beat and uh, uh, on the bottom there is much more of the highs. So if you want to uh, uh, the snare to be uh, like a lot of highs but not really that sharp uh, beat in it you can use the bottom but uh, uh, Bernie's got excellent uh, um, hit uh, so uh, it would be pity uh, not using the the top one and uh, we, we put more of the top one than, than of the others then we have a microphone for each Tom, uh, I usually prefer using the stands for each microphone. Uh, here it's uh, uh, one of uh, our recordings for, um, it's set for the recording of the cover song. So uh, we don't use that many stands, but on, on, the, on the real recording for the album I use stands because uh, there's no connection of the microphone with the drum set. So when it's... Uh, uh, reverberating uh, it doesn't do anything with, with the uh, with the microphone even though these uh, toms are excellent because uh, they have this uh, uh, holder so uh, it should not be a problem but here it's it's mounted directly to uh, to the drum and uh, I, I would not use it for uh, for the real recording but for the live setting it's okay uh, we have um, overheads that uh, we place uh, in the different height uh, when we do uh, the the music uh, here in uh, and we play together 
I would put uh, the overhead a, li a little bit lower, closer to the cymbals. Uh, when uh, Bernie is alone here uh, and he's recording only the drums, I would put them really much higher uh, to, to catch uh, the sound of, uh, of the room as well. And uh, we use only these two overheads. Uh, we decided not to use a special microphone for uh, the, uh, the hi-hat because um, there's no reason, uh, in fact. Bernie is a heavy-beating drummer, so uh, the, the hi-hat is loud so much that uh, we have a lot of hi-hat in, uh, in the microphone for the snare as well in, as in the overhead. So they are both. And probably the last thing I, I should mention what we do is that we are trying to put the, the overhead uh, directing uh, a little bit uh, offset from, from, from the snare, but the snare is right in the middle of them. Uh, it means when uh, we put uh, the overheads to the, uh, to the stereo, uh, we don't have the snare e neither on the left side nor on the right side. It's right in the middle, and that's very important. Well, so I think that's uh, enough about the microphone placement. Of course, we um, uh, get each microphone to one uh, track in, uh, in our recording system. And uh, that's what we are going to see right now. So we will go to the, uh, to the, to the director room. Yeah. Okay, now we are in control room. And we're, I'm going to show you how it looks when we record the drums. So at first we'll uh, listen to, to the tracks, tracks that are completely dry. No EQ, no effect, nothing. This is exactly how it was recorded from the microphones. This is the kick drum. Now we have the top snare, the bottom snare. You hear that the bottom has the highs, the top has uh, the beat, as I said. This is the top. And both together. Now I will go a little bit back to hear some toms. So these are toms. Now we can go to the overhead. So this is what the. There are no symbols at the moment. We hear it is there. So let's go back. And now what I need, I need just to have a little bit extra push from the kick. So I put a little bit more lows, but we are not using noise gate here. We gate only a little bit of the uh, of the toms. So uh, I will put the uh, gate of toms. We will put a little bit more light on the overhead. And now a little bit more power on the snare. Everything is very easily done. I'm using at the moment this great uh, Abbey Road plugins from Waves. Nothing else, in fact. And uh, I think what we achieve is exactly that uh, uh, natural sound of the of the drum set. Very easy. Straight 
forward down. So that was just the first touch. I think uh, you will you will hear more when we were concentrate on the mixing because uh, then you have to look at, uh, uh, at at the settings again uh, because everything relates to everything. So when I when I put bass there, uh, it will affect uh, the kick drum. It will affect the toms. Uh, the same with other instruments. So uh, there's. There's a challenge, definitely, and we will go through that. So, that was all for today. Thanks for watching. Look at all the other videos that we have on our YouTube channel. Subscribe, if you like it. And, see you next time. Viva Charles Boulevard!